So Glenn Kuyper has been suspended after he uttered a racial slur during the team's Friday evening broadcast in apparent slip up while discussing a visit to the Negro League Baseball Museum in Kansas City. And we have that for you here right now. We had a phenomenal day today. Negro League Museum and Arthur Bryant's barbecue. We had a phenomenal day today. Negro League Museum and Arthur Bryant's barbecue. Arthur Bryan's barbecue. <laughs> Eric, um, thoughts? Where, where are we at? Well, it's it's pathetic, bro. It's totally pathetic. It's clearly an accident. I don't think this guy went. Did, no, I mean they say they say it's an accident right in the headline. But do we really think that this guy is out to really, you know, to put the screws to the to the black people in baseball? Absolutely not. It's like the same. And we sh- maybe we should follow up on this. But um, the lady. Shout out Polly Walnuts. We should do a Sopranos thing. Uh, that'd be very hard to do with HBO. <laughs> Anyways, um, remember a couple months ago, the lady who said for shizzle my nizzle, the the, the meteorologist lady in uh, in Tennessee or or Louisiana or something, she said for shizzle my nizzle while they were covering a story about Snoop Dogg launching a wine. So basically doing an ad for him. I don't know if it was a paid you know editorial or whatever it was, but they were talking about his new product launch, and she said for shizzle my nizzle. And they got rid of her, or they suspended her. Something Charlemagne the God actually came out in defense of her. Snoop Dogg, I don't know if he actually said anything, but it's very reminiscent of that. And then I Googled, I actually Googled, what does for shizzle my nizzle mean? And it said, and it may have changed by now. I should have screenshot it. I probably do have a screenshot somewhere. It said, for sure, my friend. You know what I mean? So this is very similar to that, right? <laughs> like it's a slip up. And we want to play it. Yeah, you can play it. 14 seconds. Do it. Come up with. I think that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Before we know it, she'd have a Snoop Dogg tattoo on her shoulder. A shizzle, my nizzle. <laughs> I'm telling you. Julie, what do you think about that? Huh. Huh, she <laughs> says. The guy on the right actually kind of looks offended, which is sad, to say the least. Well, I actually hadn't seen the clip. I'd only read the read the article, but, I mean, it kind of has a similar vibe to it, no? Right? Like, she... She's obviously trying to be fun. She's trying to be funny. She's like a weird old news lady. And this other guy, is, he's trying to be personable and tell him about his day out. And they just, they are just looking for a scalp. There's like, you know, they're on edge. They're like, all right, where, okay, is, it, is it like, let's, let's find a little scalp. bit of, let's find a little bit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> let's find a little bit of racism. We're going to, we're going to get one today. You know, it's like they're out there. They're perched on the ledge. Like, like, I don't know, some weirdo media matters hack shill just waiting for somebody to say something. It's like, dude, why do you even care, bro? Like, what difference does this make to your day? I can't hear you. Technical difficulties. Yeah, that happens sometimes when I press mute. Okay. Um, okay. Obviously, nobody would like it if, and nobody should tolerate that if it's on purpose if he's going out there you know, listen i'm going to say this on purpose but you don't know what's in somebody's heart you don't know what's in somebody's mind unless you have some sort of evidence of this guy doing racist things i think what the thing is to do it's like take him off the air for a week with pay and be like people are going to forget about this and we'll bring you back after the road trip or whatever it is just for you know pr you have to do something for pr even though i do disagree with it i mean in a perfect world you do nothing and he apologizes says i obviously didn't mean that but um you know, we li- we live in a world. Dallas Braden, Mike Krukov expressed support for Glenn Kuyper after on-air slur. Two prominent Bay Area sports broadcasting figures have expressed support for A's commentator, Glenn Kuyper. Um, after see, he Mike- seemed to say a racial slur. Guys, they, they, <laughs> I mean, this is, this is just, um, it, it's just ridiculous. It's really pathetic, like, how, how far, how far we've fallen. You got these guys, these super righteous you know, I mean, who who was who made the initial complaint? You're like, yeah, okay, it, it surf it it got shuffled around some meme accounts, you know, some social media stuff. But like, who was actually angry about it? Who who? I mean, who just? I'm never gonna watch baseball again. Really, <laughs> it's ridiculous, yeah. bro. All right, we've got another slur in the works here. It's uh, it's not really in the works. It happened. It is from a West Virginia men's basketball head coach, West Virginia. Shout out Barstool Sports. That's where they hold their rough and rowdy, you know, amateur boxing thing all the time. It's in West Virginia. Uh, West Virginia. Ooh, this is really small. Let's see what we can do about that. That's what she said. Eric, my brother's wife came over here last week 
and she's they live on the east coast of canada and let me tell you this must be what you think i sound like she was a boot this oh hey there you know buddy hey, we're doing all this and i was like you moved you've lived there for like five years and you sound like this now i just <laughs> laughed my ass off i texted my brother after and he's like yeah i've really been training her um, oh no what's that about it kind of has like a little a little Little oh, you know, Minnesota, like Wisconsin sort of vibe. Yes, like, that's pretty yeah. much what it, anywhere that's like rural Canada is where people sound like that, M oh, mainly of, in Ontario and the East Coast. A couple of fellas. obviously, obviously they're they're French. They don't sound like that. My dad also came down. He's French and uh, doesn't have an accent still. Shout out to my dad. Um, you know, he's old. Uh, West Virginia men's basketball. Uh, well, I say that because French is his first language, but he doesn't have an accent, even though that's all he speaks now. West Virginia University men's basketball head coach Bob Huggins, not giving out hugs, agreed Wednesday to a three-game suspension and $1 million pay cut as penance for following use of an anti-gay slur on Monday that will surely get Unauthorized Opinions episode number 104 uh, demonetized. But me and Eric agreed that we wanted people to actually hear what the person said, whether you agree with it or not. Transparency is key because you read the stuff and it actually has the same amount of letters as other swear words. And you can't always believe, I know at least here in Ontario, Canada, there has been complaints of things that are slurs. And sometimes when they get revealed, you know, it's not actually a slur. And I can't and, think and of an example off the top of my head, but it does happen where, of course, you get people who believe in one thing. Like, I mean, you can't call them a woman, a man, and a man, a woman these days. That could be a slur. Dead naming can be a slur. So I think it's important to let people hear it, just like we heard in the last clip, where everybody can hear that and say, yeah, that's really bad. But if we have the last clip, Eric censored, the baseball player uh, announcer censored, and then we have the news broadcaster censored, we're not getting a difference between the actual N-word and somebody quoting something that people said for like five to six years all across society as for shizzle my nizzle is what everybody was saying. Just like I'm Rick James, bitch, what everybody was saying of every race, color and creed for five years. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. You've actually didn't hear the uncensored version or read it uncensored. And I just want to say that it also makes it it also makes it a little bit confusing because when I first read this article. I thought, don't know who that is. Um, I thought that they were mad about the, he made a joke. And some articles are covering the joke and some articles aren't covering the joke where he said, it must be, it must be transformer night. Right. Right. So, so, so it, it makes, it, it makes it confusing when they, when they can't say the actual thing. <laughs> so this is a, this is a, a channel called Black and White Sports. It's funny enough, I had recently just watched this guy for the first time the other day, but this is the only place I could find the uncensored clip. Everybody censored it in their text and in their audio, but he's got it from some actual audio page. Again, this is Black and White Sports, 200K followers on YouTube if you're interested. Let's uh, take a listen at the slurs. Not going to play the whole two-minute clip, but listen in here. <laughs> no, we're, we're above the fracas, aren't we? No problem. Yeah, you... um, absolutely. I mean, you, you, I tell you what, any, any school that can throw rubber penises on the floor and then say they didn't do it, <laughs> by God, they can get away with anything. <laughs> I, 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 rubber penis. Was this I like think that was it's a crosstown shootout. Wasn't I think it? it was transgender night, wasn't it? What? Was that it? It was a, it was a crosstown shootout. Yeah, no, what it was was all those fags, those, those Catholic fags, I think. <laughs> So right there, you heard that. That's it. Um, my Catholic brother would be very offended by that. Um, I got it. I think an interesting take on this is, you know, it's clearly West Virginia, part of the South. I'm told. Um, clearly, these guys are joking around. Is the first part. He, but what I find inter most interesting, Eric, is that they have no problem joking around about transgenderism and and dildos and whatnot. But this guy says that, and then that's too far for them. So I'm of the creed that it's all okay or none of it's okay. These guys are joking around, and you can clearly see they were a little uncomfortable, or clearly hear they were a little uncomfortable, even as you wa uh, watch the, or hear the rest of the clip. They're pretty uncomfortable with what he said. They know they're going to get in trouble, but it's just odd that they're, you know, they can say all these other stuff, all these other things, and they're not upset about that. But there's, there's st still this christian line that they're not willing to to pass for some reason i don't i don't quite understand it eric i i think like 
I mean, I'm not saying that on the air. I'm not saying the N word on the air either. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not going to say that I'm going to say these things, but I just find it's odd that it's like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I, it's hard for me to be mad at, and tell people where they're joking lies. And is it worth, was it worth a million dollars? I guess maybe is a question. Uh, no, it should, should no, asking. of course it shouldn't cost him a million dollars. It's absolutely ridiculous, bro. Like, look, I think there's two, there's two, and you just mentioned them that you just cannot say. They will ruin your life if, mm -hmm. if there's, there's two words that you can say. But I think, I think we're, we're at the point where we have to start the pendulum swinging back, bro. So, you, so we should just go back to the old days where every <laughs> you where where you can say whatever it is you want. So, so this way the the sting is taken away from it, right? They're so taboo yeah. that when somebody says it, it's like, oh, oh my, my virgin ears. I'm so sad. I can't believe you would just, like, who cares, bro? Like, you, we're all adults. Flanders. You, you, you listen to rap music. Well, they probably don't listen to rap music. But think about that sort of double standard, right? I mean, you got guys out there quite literally pointing prop weapons directly into the camera and waving, waving guns around John Morant style. And, and I mean, just dropping some of the dirtiest lyrics. And look, I, I think about a guy like Future. I like Future, but he says some pretty disgusting things. The classic example is obviously Eminem. So exactly. So why are people so scared by a couple of words? It's completely fake. Obviously, their outrage is completely fake. And the only reason that I think it, this wasn't actually worse for him is probably is probably because it was in West Virginia, and I think they're fairly, um, you know normal right as far as like <laughs> you know their weirdo leftist ideologies and extreme you know they want to call regular people extreme it's all absolutely backwards but i think it probably would have been a lot worse i mean if he was the coach for i don't know ucla he'd be he'd be in a jail cell right now so i don't know man i think it's a <laughs> i think it's um i think it's all pretty pathetic and i think we should sort of now, I'm not going to I I guess I can't really say this since I'm not going to be the first one to do it because I don't want, you know, my YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, this whole show to be taken down. But it's like we need to do something to sort of kick the door in so it's not so scary anymore. Turn it up, Jordan.